You must be hungry by now. This guy gets on my nerves. <laughs> Indeed, colors of Mew. Shh. Huh? You became Joe Biven. That's funny. Oh, my goodness, Sir Theodore. That is hilarious. Sir Spenders is maybe one of the best cat names I've ever heard. Sir Chin Rescue is amazing. Your animals are white knights, Sir Theodore. How hilarious. You love Bob? This is a great quest. Oh, is Bob the cat? Let's go find Bob. Uh, where where'd you see Bob last? Well, he usually comes back to me once a week. Usually a Monday. Wonder why on a Monday? Huh. Well, this week he hasn't come back for his food and I'm worried. So he could be anywhere. I guess so. I just had an idea. Oh my, you win a biscuit? Man, this cat... He's a cat owner himself. He loves cats. Relax on this guy. Cat? Uncooking fish brew. Oh boy, am I going to have to do that? Puss. Do you want to help or not? Now that would be really funny, Sir Theodore, if it was purely an artifact of the game's uh, reset mechanic that made Bob the Cat stop by and visit on Firth. I said I'd help, didn't I? Okay. My friend Hild is cleverer than me. Anyone would be cleverer. I should take this amulet off. Oh, I'm having fun with it, though. I'm just laughing in this guy's face. This isn't funny. Sorry. Where was I? Oh, yes. My friend Hild might be able to locate where Bob is. She lives in a house just down the road to the southwest. Okay, I'll go speak to her. Please hurry. All right. So, we need to go to the southwest. Okay. So, um, okay. Is it? There she is. Greetings, adventurer. Why have you come to me in my abode? Well, that's a good question. Oh, wow. She has a unique dress. I don't think I've seen that dress or these armbands before. All right, then. Greetings, Hild. I'm trying to find Unferth's cat. Unferth's cat. Pfft. Unferth is Bob's human. Ooh, wow. I guess that's one way of putting it. What are you talking about? Your cat speaks some truth. It is humans that misinterpret their relationship with cats. Can she speak to cats? You understand what my cat is saying? Indeed. Uh, Bob didn't come home this week. Hmm, this is not like Bob. I wonder what could be the problem. I don't think there is a problem. Bob is probably chasing females again. Hello, I'm still here. I am sorry, Dr. Incompetent. I will help Unferth find Bob. He has been a friend of mine for many years. Uh, good. He could be anywhere, though. I see you have an amulet of cat speak. If you open the amulet up, you will see contained inside is a mechanism... If this is enchanted correctly, it can be used to locate a cat. In our case, Bob, if you bring me five death runes, then I will be able to perform the enchantment for you. Whoa. The stream froze for you um, for six seconds. Okay, I don't know why it's lagging. Um, it's so strange. What, I don't know if the internet is bad in my area, but this is not a very graphically 
intense game, and yet sometimes, maybe it's just because I'm on World 1, maybe there's too many people here. I have the death runes with me now. So the, the cat speak amulet has some kind of mechanical center? I thought it was just magical. Normal twitch issues, brew. You're getting the same thing, MXT. I'm sorry, everybody. You know, it didn't I didn't have any lag on uh on Sunday night or Monday or Tuesday, just this evening for some reason. Same so weird. The sound is okay, but the image is freezing. Huh. It looks like it's stabilized. We'll see. Good. Give me the amulet so that I may perform the enchantment. You pass Hild the amulet. Hopefully it starts to smooth itself out. Hild gives you the enchanted amulet. Using the enchanted amulet is easy. Open up the amulet and you'll see a cat's face... Use the whiskers to rotate the cat's nose. You see the nose move and the new direction highlighted. When the nose points in the direction, <laughs> the nose that Bob is in, the eyes will light up and the mouth will open. You need to head in that direction and then check the direction again. If you're very close to, to Bob, then the eyes and mouth will animate no matter which way the nose is pointing. That's all there is to it. Good luck. Thanks. All right, so... I've apparently been given a magical way to locate Bob with my amulet. So, let's see. Um, open it? Okay. Nothing is happening, so I need to go north, I guess? I don't know, maybe I'm not interpreting it correctly. Oh, he had a brief cameo in the stream? That's funny. Okay. The, it lights up when the nose is pointing toward Bob. To rotate the nose, I can push the whiskers. Oh, okay. I gotta interact with it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so he's actually down here? Is that what's going on? No. Oh, the, the eyes will light up if I point it the right way. He's to the south. All right, there we go. Look at this amulet. This is ridiculous. Okay, he's to the south. Let's go, people. We can do this. All right, we're going to go south. And we're going to find this. Alright. Now, I'm going to go south. I'm going to go all the way down here. Okay? And then I'm going to look at this again. And let's see. Still south. Okay. Oh, he could be anywhere in the whole game? So it could be rough trying to track him down. Oh my goodness. He has a few locations that he gets stuck a lot. So going on foot is like, is crazy. I should be, you guys think I should just teleport around and try to spin my whiskers until I find that he's moved? Let me try it one more time and then I'm going to teleport. Thank you for letting me know about that, by the way. Oh, wait a minute. He's northeast of me. Okay, that means I already passed him. He should be close by then, or close-ish, right? Um, let me let me go over here. Triangulation could help. You got that right. Except I'm not smart enough to understand. Except that you said the word triangle. All right. 
he is now southeast. Okay, interesting. All right, let's go south and east. Let me look for a cat at this point. I guess I'm not that close, but let me go over here and let me see. Oh, he's still southeast. So what you're saying, Colors of Mew, is if I just go to three places in the triangle and take readings, it will help narrow things down? South. He's due south. Looks like he's in Falador indeed. Now he's southeast. All right. Um... It is empty indeed. Oh, now he's north. Northwest. That means he's really, really close. Oh, now he's southwest. Southwest. Okay. Um. Oh, look, is that him? Bob. Bob. He's down by the water. All right. I found you at last. Hi, Bob. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. I see what you're saying, Sir Theodore. Are you telling me, Sir Theodore, that for the rest of the game, when I play, that statue is gone forever because I moved it into the garden? I know, Oren. I am lucky. He was really close. Hi there, son. Okay, Nickman. Good luck dungeoneering, my friend. Don't start that again. The humans have been looking for you. They get worried too easily. Ah, I should have realized Unferth would miss me. What's up? Sigh, I can't believe it, but I've fallen for... Um... Neide. Neide? Neide. Now, I'm sure I've heard that name before. Oh my gosh, Sir Theodore, I've changed the game for myself by moving that statue. Unbelievable. What a beauty she is. It's the way the shimmer from the hot sand makes her eyes sparkle. The way she flicks her tail as she la leaps gracefully across the pyramids. The way she cleans herself after a good rat. As you humans would say, she's the cat's whiskers. I actually think we say she's the cat's meow, but maybe we say whiskers too. Oh, how I long to be curled up with her in front of a log fire and a big bowl of tuna. Oh boy.
Menaphos would be a great place to start a family. He wants to go to Menaphos. Okay. Wow, he's got it bad. Real bad. I never thought I'd see the day. I know, but there is something about her. The way she... Well, it's everything. Oh, the hidden pain of love. Love lies not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is the winged Cupid painted blind. Oh, some poetry. Thank you. I'm starting to feel sick. I haven't been home because I wanted to be alone. Does Nady feel the same way about you? She said she has feelings for me, but would never get involved with anyone with no family or status. Don't you know who your parents are? All I know is that Gertrude found me on her doorstep one day. She looked after me when I was a kitten. Enon, that is exactly what's going on. Um, I, or I'm about to start doing that. You know, no, I don't think that... The only similarity with, with North Korea and Menaphos, as far as I understand it, Sir Theodore, would be that they block themselves off um, and, and don't allow uh, outsiders. And But I think Menaphos is much, much nicer than living in North Korea, as far as... I understand it. I've never been there, but from what I've seen, it's you're living under a a despot in destitution with all manner of depravity. I, Menaphos is like a bustling, beautiful city. All I know is that Gertrude found me on her doorstep one day. She looked after me when I was a kitten. Oh, it's Gertrude again. It's full circle. Yeah, exactly, Neo. The cat, the crazy cat lady? Don't you have any memory of your parents? Nothing. The farthest back I can remember is Gertrude looking after me. Dr. Incompetent, let's go and talk to Gertrude. Perhaps she knows who Bob's parents are. Do I look like a matchmaker? Nah, I look like a lot of things. Come on, we can help Bob. Hi, my name is Bob. <laughs> I don't know why I find this hysterical, but that might be the best exchange that I've seen in the game. Come on, let's help Bob. Hi, my name is Bob. Unbelievable. Hello, Bob. Do you two know each other? I don't think so. Yes, you do. Dive deep. Search your feelings. Okay, I will try. What's up, kitty? If only you knew the power of Bob. Your master never told you who your real father was, did he? No, but what's that got to do with... No, no, it can't be. Yes. I am your father. Oh my goodness, are we getting Star Wars crossover? This is... That's impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. I mean, this is just Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. This is all getting very weird you can destroy Zamorak he has foreseen this it is your destiny join me and together we can rule this place as father and son they're casting Emperor Palpatine as Zamorak this is next level okay dad maybe later you're scaring me I'll never join you I think that's about enough of that. I'm off. All right. That was a riot. An absolute riot. It's the the Star Wars RuneScape crossover that you never knew. All right. Let's go uh, Gertrude... She lives over outside the town. Like, this is... 
This is her house right here, right? I think it is. Let me go see. Hello, dwarves. Let's get through the barbarian village. Let's make the dream happen. There's Kajel. I wonder if he's learned how to play the guitar yet. Okay, Brew. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. Have a good night. I hope you can catch some Zs. All right. There she is. I remember these busted Venetian blinds oh so well. Oh, and your bonnet. I actually forgot about your bonnet, Gertrude. About Bob's parents. Hello again, Gertrude. Welcome back, adventurer. How is your cat? I'm fine, thanks. He says he's fine. What can I do for you, then? I hope it's not about death runes. I heard a terrible rumor, you know. What, that you can locate cats with them? Death runes? No idea. No, it's not that. I, um... Come on, spit it out. This is gonna sound silly. Why? Are you gonna talk in a stupid cat... Or a stupid accent? Go on, try me. Okay, well, do you know who Bob's parents are? Bob, you mean the big tomcat who hangs around the Heroes Guild? No, I'm afraid I don't know a lot about him. People around here know I care for sick and abandoned animals, and one day I found a basket... With a kitten inside. It was left on my doorstep. I brought him up as best I could, and he soon learned to take care of himself. He was really an amazing little thing. There was this one time when... We don't have time for this. Bob could be in trouble. Tell her to get on with it. Crumbs, your cat's quite nosy, isn't it? Everything okay? Oh, crumbs. No, uh, it's, it needs to be taken to the vets urgently for an emergency amputation. Oh, it's a reference that you can sell fully grown cats in Ardoin for 300 death runes? Oh my gosh, so she's saying... I hear there's a black market cat trade where people are selling cats for death runes. Now that is creepy. I do hope you're joking. These claws are real, you know. None of your bronze nonsense. See, it just can't stop howling. Allergic to cat hair, apparently. Anyway, you were talking about Bob's parents? Oh, was I? Oh yes, well, I'm afraid I don't know anything about them, adventurer. Hang on, maybe this is something to do with the legend. Yes, it just might. Have you ever heard of Robert the Strong? <laughs> She's the cat lady, Sir Theodore. That's all there is to say. She is the crazy cat lady. Vaguely. Ask Gertrude if she knows anything. Hmm, Gertrude, do you know anything of the legend Robert the Strong? 
No, sorry, if it's a legend, it's Reldo you need to talk to. He's in Varric Palace Library, knows all about that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Reldo. Good old Gertrude. Come on, let's go. But I'll explain later. So, Reldo, if memory serves, is the librarian in the Varric Palace Library who uh, forgets where all the books are and has me locate them manually. Let's go see if that's going to be the case here. It is animal abuse. I'm not getting that achievement. I'm not selling a cat. <laughs> oh, interesting. That's right. Robert the Strong. I mean, maybe he's Bob. Reldo staring at the wall, people. Look at the librarian. He is point blank at the plastered wall. Um, can you tell me about Robert the Strong? Hello. Hello, Reldo. Go on, ask him. Okay, I'm on it. Do you know anything about Robert the Strong? Oh, look, there's the postal cat, Posty Pete. Um, let me see. There is a mention of him in one of my books on the history of Gilinor. Fourth Age, popular lore. Ah, here we are. Robert the Strong. Oh, he found the book. This is the first time ever he's actually got the book, and he flipped to the page himself. Not much is known about the hero called by the people of Asgarnia, Robert the Strong. Most folk tales describe him as being taller than the tallest human and far stronger than the strongest man. He wields a six-foot-tall longbow and travels with his faithful panther Odysseus. He is said to have a personal crusade against a dragonkin, so he's an ogre. <laughs> hey, nice guy. Good evening, my friend. Oh, they don't care at all. Nice guy. I'm, I'm allowed to get in freely. Dragonkin? I'm coming to that. The stories tell of the Dragonkin being an intelligent race of birds like bird-like creatures that walked rather than used their wings. They are said to be immortal but cannot reproduce. Because of this, they became very afraid of death and shunned all other races. The Dragonkin made corrupted versions of themselves for protection what we now know as dragons. Well, that's everything we know about him, and that is from folk tales. So wait a minute. There's bird people that made corrupted versions of themselves that are large, scaly lizards called dragons. I'm missing a few threads of that logical leap. Doesn't sound very believable. Very little is known about this early part of Gilinorian history, but unlike many scholars, I believe that folk tales are based on events that actually happened. It is the way history has been passed down generations before we had a way of recording it. Thank you, Reldo. You've been most helpful. That was a nice tale for mothers to tell their children, but I don't see how this helps Bob. Don't you think it's odd that no one knows where Bob came from? I guess, but he's just a cat, right? I hope that you would have realized that there's more to cats than humans believe. Oh, hey, Morbid Fell. Oh, no, you're a dragonkin. Okay. Yeah, you do look like a dragon. All right, never mind. Okay, okay, I get your point. After all, I'm being dragged round by Gilinor, by my cat. I wouldn't say dragged. Let's call it a partnership. 
Okay. That's an outdated Dragonkin model? Interesting. Well, I haven't seen Dragonkin yet. One day I'll see him. So you're saying that Robert Strong is... Is... Bob? Let's ask Bob. I mean, they have the same name. Let's go. All right, here we go. 